All right, welcome back everyone. Today I have a super juicy and exciting stock pick to share with you guys. And to be honest, the stocks I tell you guys about just aren't random picks for the sake of talking about stocks. All the stocks I talk about on this channel I personally research, and if I see a ton of growth potential in them, I share them. So if you look at some of the trends this year, and the projected growth of certain sectors over the next decade, we can see that space, green energy, virtual and augmented reality, 3D printing, AI, and genomics are all perfect candidates to see massive gains. But quantum computing is also an industry that I think can easily be overlooked by an investor, as there's no peer plays in this space right now. Until now. In fact, the stock I'm going to go over is the very first publicly traded quantum computing company on the stock market. So let's get into this. The ticker symbol is DMYI. This is a SPAC that is merging with the company IonQ, IonQ being the quantum computing company. So right off the bat, this stock is trading at around $10.57 at the time of recording this video. And since I do my best to try and get you guys in at the best possible prices, a lot of you guys are going to be happy to hear that this SPAC is at an all-time low right now since it first went public in January 2021. And another really promising aspect about this company, and I can't stress this enough, this is not just some random SPAC. This is a company that has the ability to revolutionize the way humans handle and process data. INQ even has some major backing right now, like Fidelity, Silver Lake, and Bill Gates Breakthrough Energy. IonQ's mission statement is to build the world's best quantum computers to solve the world's most complex problems, transforming business, society, and the planet for the better. I like this. It's not just some overly fluffy statement that's over a paragraph. It's just a simple, clean sentence. You know exactly what this company is setting out to do. So let's keep going. While INQ was founded in 2015, its development started at Duke and the University of Maryland over 15 years ago. The leadership behind it includes a quantum computing pioneer, Chris Monroe, who in 1995 led a team that demonstrated the first successful quantum logic state. So just to give you guys an idea of just how fast a quantum computer actually is, Google currently has a quantum computer that they've tested as a hundred million times faster than a classical computer. And even at a minimum, a quantum computer can be thousands of times faster than a standard computer. So in a quantum computer, its most defining components are called quantum bits, or qubits, which are ionized ytterbium atoms. And once these atoms are prepared in a particular stable quantum state, they can remain in that state for very long periods of time. They're so consistent, in fact, that they're used in one of the most accurate atomic clocks ever built. And by a stark comparison, in a classical computer, the smallest unit of computation is called a bit. A bit can only be in one of two possible states, a one or a zero, whereas a qubit has the ability to be in a complex superposition of these states, allowing for a much larger computational space. And on their website, INQ actually gave a pretty cool metaphor to help visualize a standard computer versus a superposition in a quantum computer. Imagine only being able to point at the North and South Pole versus being able to point anywhere on the globe. That's the power of quantum computers. And you know what else I really love about this company? They actually have a beautiful modern website. I mean, just look at these animations. So buttery smooth. Yeah, honestly, they did a really, really nice job with the website and showcasing every bit of information that they could in an easy to understand way. And I know in some of my previous videos, I can be a bit critical of a company's website if it looked like it was designed 20 years ago. But honestly, guys, if you want to see a nice example of what a technology company's website should look like in 2021, check out IMQ's website. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, now it's time to get into their investor presentation and finances. They are claiming that their computers will be 32,000 times more powerful than the competing quantum computers. That's pretty interesting, but I'd actually like to know who exactly their competitors are. 
Like, are they talking about Google here? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. As for the total addressable market, experts expect a TAM of approximately $65 billion by 2030, which is a compound annual growth rate of about 56%, which, if they can actually pull that off, that's impressive. And of course, part of their market plan is offering quantum computing as a service to companies like Microsoft and Amazon Web Services. Essentially, they're giving those companies access to their quantum computers for cloud services. So, INQ's new 32-qubit system was actually first available to their direct partners across energy, pharmaceutical, and manufacturing via a private beta and then commercially available on AWS Bracket and Microsoft Azure Quantum in early 2021. Honestly, really, really cool. And they really do have a world-class team. The CEOs from Amazon and other people in upper management are from Uber and Google as well. Now, in terms of financials, they are projecting a compound annual growth rate of around 150% over the course of the next five years. So just for some extra clarity, they are expecting to pull in $5 million in revenue this year, with a loss of around $42 million, and aren't expecting to be profitable until 2025, where they're expecting to do $237 million in revenue, with a profit of $61 million. Now, I can't stress enough how excited I am about this company. Countless markets will be accelerated because of quantum innovation, including drug discovery, material innovation, financial services, and supply chains and logistics. No industry will be left unturned. Quantum computing also has the potential to push forward advancements in AI and machine learning. So, with quantum computing poised to follow some of the greatest advancements in technology that we've ever seen, this is honestly one of the next great waves of innovation, and INQ seems like they're in an incredibly great position to lead the way into the quantum computing space. If you're looking for a pure play in quantum computing, this is the stock. Thanks for listening everyone, and I'll catch you next time.